HEPA filter macro. We want to select an item here and filter this data. And the results will show up here. First, let's get this. Select A, column A. Let's just put it here. Control V. I'm going to delete this. Uh, ah, let's just select it all, go to data, remove duplicates. Okay. And I just want to remove this guy too. Ah, don't have to. So here, go back to data. Data validation list and that's the list I want into. And just hit enter and OK. Okay. Now, if you want, you can hide this. I don't really care. All right. Now, let's record a macro. Now, you see this. This is the macro recorder. Or if you, ha you have it, your developer tab, you can click record macro. Auto. We're going to call it the auto filter macro. It already exists. Now, what I want to do here data, filter. You just want to see what the code looks like. Okay? And then hit stop recording. Okay, so this is what I just recorded. I went and selected sheet one. I selected column A. Right? Oh, there. And I hit the auto filter button filtered for that. So easily we can get rid of these things, the selects, and we can just leave it as column A filter auto filter. Just like that. Okay, so now there's no selects. It will just automatically auto filter. And before I go any further, I'm going to save. Because this is the fifth time I've tried to do this. <laughs> I keep screwing up. Copy. Now, in sheet two, whenever I change this, I want the code to activate, which means I have to be in the worksheet module. So I want to right click and view code. And if you did not see that, Let's go here, go to sheet two, and just double click on it. And you'll see here, I am now in the sheet two module. Go to worksheet, not selection change, we want worksheet change. And let's just get rid of this so there's no confusion. And I'm going to hit control V because I copied that code before, remember? And what I want to do is Every time C1 changes, I want that code to activate. So my target is going to be C2. If target uh, address equals bang C bang 1, I said C2, sorry. Then, and then I'm going to put an end if down here, end if, and let's just save it. Then sheet one, column, boom, boom. So, should we test it out? C1, A1. Now you see how it did A1. See, if I even I, if I click A2 still comes out as A1 because I have it hard-coded. Right now, 
I'm going to change it to say target. So now, whatever is in the target address, A3, A3, C3, C3. to dim the worksheets. Dim sheet has worksheet. Dim last row as long. And dim f range as right. Okay. So let's set sheet equals sheets. Sheet 1. Because that's the sheet I want. sheet, see, everything's going to replace this now. So I can just hit a period. See, call this on, put on criteria, target. Now, last row equals, I have to hit the period again. See, cells, cells, rows, period rows, and I want to count them. sheet one and excel up row okay now let's set the range set f range equals period again sorry range a2 to h and whatever the last row is See, uh, that's what we're. I want to set this range. I want to save it again, just in case it fails at me again. Let's copy that range. F range, copy. Where do we want to put it? We want to put it right here, A4. A4. And once that's done, I want to turn the auto filter mode off. So, period again. Auto, see how these things, and I just hit the down arrow. Auto filter mode, hit your tab button, boom. Equals false. And now we want to say end with. So we're done with the sheet. End with. Now if you if you have smart indenter, you can end that. So our ifs went up and our end is gone. So let's check it out. See what happens. A3, A3. Okay. C2, C2. B1, B1. Nothing? Well, then I get screwed. So we shouldn't do it. did? I believe I just deleted those things too. I'm going to save it. Now don't forget we have those in there. This is the list for the data validation. So, thanks for watching. I'll just, put, I'll just let you see the code. You can stop it there if you want.